influence all over and you are a foreigner it is not child's play it takes grace in the hand of God and we as a church we have every reason to give God praise. this is our last Shabbat for the year and the next one is from 29th to 31st it's going to be dangerous tell you anybody it's going to be dangerous it's going to be dangerous yeah we're going to, from 29th to 31st, we are planning not to have it here because this place cannot contain us. We're going to have it outside, amen, somewhere. And heaven will kiss the earth. Amen. amen. Are you blessed to be here? Yes. I know our time is up, but um, the woman of God is here. Evening when Jiru is here with the husband. Come on, let's appreciate her. We are going to call her to come and give us some hot, somebody say hot. Hot like fire. Praise for some another can you spare me 30 minutes can you spare me 30 minutes i know our time is up but please she traveled all the way she was somewhere in narrow she managed to be here so it is impossible for us to release her to go without ministry are you getting me yes. we have to are you are you here yes. are you ready to be blessed yes. are you ready to be blessed yes. no listen to me you came here to worship god so there, there is where are you running to ask your neighbor where Tell your neighbor where, where, where are you going? Where, where do you want to go? Uh, where do you want to go? There is tea and bread downstairs that you are going to eat. Where, where do you want to go? Uh, so within the next 30 minutes, tell your neighbor 30 minutes. Let's let's give her time to lift us up in the way that God. Is going, in any way that God is going to use her and you shall be blessed. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Are you ready for her? Yes. Come on, let's appreciate her and the team as they come up stage. <laughs> let's appreciate her. Let's appreciate her. Let's appreciate her. Yes. She has a foundation. Let me advertise the foundation for her. She has a foundation. We, we launched it when? On Wednesday, I was there myself um, as a speaker. So, I mean, please, after after the foundation, after she ministers, I'll just give you a little bit about the foundation. And every one of you is expected to support the foundation. Tell your neighbor support. support. Yes, I will come in and talk about it before we close. God bless you. Come on, let's receive it. you're starting your week with a lot of grace. Say grace. grace. We are in the season of grace and so is it. we are in the 10th month of the year and 5 plus 5 is equals to so there is double grace. There is double grace in the room this afternoon, this evening, wherever you're watching us from. Such an honor. Thank you, Apostle. We honor you and the leadership of this church. Today we are so glad to be here. Oh my God.
has an attitude, turn to the next neighbor, tell them you've just started. Aha, tell your neighbor, give me some space. Ah, scripture says that the violence shall take it by force. Whatever you are praying for, your neighbor is also praying for the same thing. You are trusting God for a job. Your neighbor is also trusting God for a job. I mean, I don't know who I came for, but I know that this week some of you will receive some messages that are crazy messages. I have refused to end this year without a testimony. Already I am a point of... When you look at me, you see that there is a God of miracle. I already have a testimony, but I'm still expectant. I don't know about you. Maybe you have it all. But still, you need more. What was your pesa? Sin you quell? See as buna muka kill as you go to pesa. Aha. Get some space. Get some space. Some of you will be celebrated this year. We are about to enter your graduation ceremony. I don't know who I can. I just feel like celebrating Jesus. Get something in your hand and raise it high. You know, most of the time we want God to bless us with things and we, we come empty handed. Just look for something. A handkerchief, a bottle of water. Get something. Even if it's your phone, anything. Put the torch. Come and ikabambe iPhone 14, the Pro Max, Samsung, Sijui Gani Flap, Sijui what? Raise it high. 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 We do not come here to make some jokes. We came for business. And our business is kingdom agenda. Somebody raise it high for Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. If you're ending this year with a testimony, somebody scream. For 12 years. She did not care who was talking about her. And some of us, as human beings, <laughs> we listen so much on why people, what people talk about us. The naysayers. The naysayers. They will always be there. She did not care. And she died, decided to, to crawl until she touched the hem of Jesus. I believe there are some people around her that were saying, Sasa, who are you? You know there are those people. We have naysayers. But your faith. Your faith. Your faith keeps you moving. Take a step of faith. Apostle, God is blessing you with that land and a big church. What is this? Can you get angry? No! Take a step of faith! So you better grab your blessings. Are you ready? Are you sure? Get some space. And as you're taking your space, you are booking that space in that other church, the other big grace arena. Ah. Apostle, this is too small. Every day I come to this church, it's always full up to Inje. Niache now, Kasirika. Mama 
Sabina, am I saying the truth? You know, when I was so angry at the devil, I said, I sing every day, God. I, I am tired. I get home. On Mondays, I don't even want to pick my calls. And I ask God, I sing and people get blessed. They get healed. Where is my healing? And I went in my living room. I came downstairs and left my husband in the room. And I went downstairs. And I was so mad. And I lied on the floor. And I said, enough is enough. I just woke up and went to the barber shop. And I cut my hair. And you know the way I love my hair. Women with their hair and their human hair. <laughs> and I cut it. And to make it worse. My husband, I came back. And that, that barber, I don't know if he did. Did he use the scissors or what did he do? To make it worse, you know most Kenyan women don't have hairline very well. So when I entered in my house, my husband was seated in the living room and he looked at me like... He called the babush and he asked him, Gulikata bibi yangu nyuele, nani alikupe rusa? Akasema alikuja nika... I was so mad at the enemy because I had trusted him for the fruit of the womb for so many years. And I said, you know God, the seventh year I knew you were going to do it. The eighth year, I still waited on you. The ninth year is the month of, is the, is the, nine is the month of birthing. What is this? And every time I would sing and some people, I think they will look at me with some pityness, you know, pray. And every church I would go, the way I used to introduce my husband, that is my music producer, he produced music and children. Ha! I would go to the green room and they ask us, so how many children do you have? And we will go. We are still waiting on God. And they will say, can we lay our hands on you? You can imagine for nine, ten years, how many hands have been laid on me. Until it reached a point, my husband was like, I don't want anybody to touch you. I don't want anybody to lay, to lay your hands or touch your belly. Nobody should touch. And I was like, Sasa, Zita, could introduce you to So that people cannot ask me questions. If you get angry with the enemy, you take charge and take position and know that you are the kingdom child. And so we are getting angry. Are you ready to receive your blessings for 2024? 2023 has already happened. 2024, are you ready? Get some space, get some space. Come on, Mama India, get some space. Look for something in your hand and raise it high. Raise it high, raise it high. Listen, I have a testimony.
business. Some people are dependent on you. The moment you start, CVs will be coming because you're holding their blessings. Ah, am I speaking to somebody? And some of you are, are waiting on God for the fruit of the womb. in your ear and you give up when it's just about oh, am I speaking to somebody don't look like, like me like that I am not crazy I am crazy for my God this God has been too good for me I don't know about you but me I know where he has brought me from where no man could have done it are you ready I'm the one who 
is called, not you. Ah. So we pluck. It is so painful because you are so used to them. Anything that happens in your life, you, they are the first people that come in your mind. You call them, you pluck. Say, I'm plucking. It might be painful. Do you understand what I am saying? Take it low. I am saying this with a lot of honor and, 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 and love. Even for house helps. Our managers, we are so used to them. Until sometimes when it's time to let them go, it's so hard. Because they have become too familiar, they don't even honor the grace upon our lives. Shaya Badaha. You have friends that have become too far, they have become too close in your life. That when you go for any meeting, you have to carry them along with you. Yet you don't understand that they are not supposed to sit on that table. It's time to pluck. Am I talking to somebody? Eagles don't eat dead things fresh and so God is depositing ideas that are fresh ideas in someone's life listen we ask God for money too much money no 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 it's not time to ask God for money it's time to ask God for ideas because your idea when you place it on the table people will want to listen say I want to buy into this idea I want to invest into this idea start asking God for ideas fresh ideas are you ready to grab your blessings on the 10th month of this year? My time is out, but I want to leave you with this. God is not a respecter of persons. Anybody, anywhere, even now. God is blessing, is blessing those who look as if they cannot be blessed. You know there are some rich people when they appear, you look at them and they don't look rich. You say, Ati ule ni nani, eh? Because God will, God will cause you. You see, like, I, let me give my example. When I enter here without makeup, without anything, with my sandals and my hair, my short hair, and you're told that is Evelyn, you say it's a lie. Because the Evelyn Onjiro, you know, is big, has human hair, and is well-dressed. And many other times I've gone to places and people have despised me. In fact, most of the time, my husband and I, because we are so small, please, can you sit, move, move. This is the seat for the guest singer. I say, it's okay. We are, put seat to put, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are always ushered to sit at the back. Because the way people look at you is not the way God looks at you. Anybody God can bless. Turn to your neighbor, tell them you are blessed. Maybe you're standing next to someone that is going to be your boss tomorrow. <laughs> you're standing next to someone that is holding your destiny. Don't despise anybody. Don't step on people. Are you ready to grab your blessings tonight?
comfort. Together with these people, the enemy had set a trap and he wanted to destroy them. But God said, raise a praise. And they started praising like crazy. And they started shouting like crazy. I believe their season of dancing and celebrating and the enemy was like, what are these people doing? You better worship this God knowing that he's the only one that knows you better than anybody. Your husband doesn't know you. Your wife doesn't know you. Your family doesn't know you. He says that he has created you in his own image, not the image of your family. Lift up your hands in the next two seconds. I want you to speak in the heavenly language. If you're filled with the Holy Ghost, let the heavens hear your voice for two seconds. Release it in the atmosphere. Release it in the atmosphere. Let the heavens hear your voice.
himself is stepping in by the time you gather here next week you say of a true God did it may he move the immovable may he do the impossible may Jehovah God step in Second Chronicles chapter 20 as they worship the Bible says the Lord sent an ambush against the enemy as you have worshipped tonight I pray that may Jehovah God send an ambush against every enemy any battle that is against you in the name of Jesus. Before we go, man, I just want us to make a prayer for the candidates that are starting their exams tomorrow. We want to lift a prayer over their lives. Any child in this auditorium, any child that is connected to this altar that is writing an exams, we want to lift a prayer over them. We pray for them in the first service, but I want to still pray for them in this service. That God will give, grant them favor. Yeah. That God will grant them the grace to be able to excel. Any child that is sitting for any exams connected to this altar, any kingdom child, those that are here, those that are not here, we want to lift a prayer cover over their lives. That God should favor them. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Make a prayer over their lives. Make a prayer over their lives. Hali shabrasone metataya. Lagado shabasene me adua alabrashata. Rapalia asona nanamata. Come on, lift up your voice and come on, make a prayer. Lift up your voice and make a prayer over your life. Shalala la gado shabra shata. Shalala la 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 gado shabahaya. La braco shate yamadush. Shalala la 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 kapandia atosha. Rabalia atosha haya. Father, we speak a prayer cover over their lives. Preserve them. Grant them favor, O oh Lord. Let them excel in that exam. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Hello, Shabaya Gadoshaya. Rabababalada Damashotaya. Ipalia Kanolobo Shabaya. Ibrado Shalala Brantana Dabako Dabataya. Iele Shabrasodia Taya. In the name of Jesus. We are canceling any ill health, ill health, 
anything like the child um, the, or the children fall, falling ill, I mean, having strange attacks during the time of exam, you are declaring it is aborted. We are declaring that the Lord shall keep them in all through during the time of exams and that he shall work a miracle in their lives. Where even their effort fail, may God work a miracle. Come on, lift up your voice for the last time. Make a prayer over their lives. Make a prayer over them. 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 We decree that they are preserved. We decree that they are protected. That the Lord shall protect and preserve our children from every attack of the enemy. We command and declare, O oh Lord, may you keep them, may you preserve them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, preserve them. And so, Father, we thank you, we honor you. We ask, may you keep them, may you preserve them from every attack of the enemy. We decree that they shall excel in that exams. They will go through successfully. Your grace shall be with, with them. Your anointing shall be with them. Your favor shall be with them. Your power shall be with them. They shall go and excel unto your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, have we prayed and everyone shouted, amen. amen. Come, let's pray for you again. I mean, this is a different service we want to pray for. I want to pray for our dear sister Ruth as uh, she travels in the next 10 days or so that God will be with her. Amen. Yeah, she's traveling to Canada and uh, we want the hand of God to be with her. Amen. She's going with the daughter that God will grant her favor in a foreign land. That Jehovah God will favor her in Canada.